I would not mind stopping at the Laredo storefront. I appreciate their craftsmanship. You heard of the Elios retreat? I know Akira really rather well. Perhaps better than I would like. Going up at exit two. I'm not holding my breath. Might be hard work, but it sure beats living. We should be on our guard if we venture outside the city. The Ashta are quite formidable. It's really an honor to be able to help out. Akil is really the heart of the Freestar Collective. We got a lot of bars in the city, all glass joints. Well, except the Pegasus. These rangers are some hard-blooded folk. Uh, Elevated gravity. I suppose we are getting some extra exercise then. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. For the time being, yes, but you could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? You enjoy the violent stuff, huh? If you have to shoot someone, make sure it's for the right reason. If they open fire on you first, then you're within your rights. But outside of that, Violence of any kind should be avoided. You did what was necessary. There is no shame in that. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Oak Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. 
They were dressed in Free Star militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the colony war, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Always a Mayday! Satisfying Mayday! Moment. This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, systems failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. This is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. All right, that's it. Welcome to Hope Town. Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. <laughs> you need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Just patch her up enough to get to Hope Town. The rest. Thanks. I owe you one. Not the most exciting work I can think of.
Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if we can't... They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Good hunting. What is it? Very good. Is something amiss? Mm hmm. Good. You and I have things to discuss. What did you need? That is all? Very well. Please tell me you're here to... <laughs> I was tracking a... Bastards got the drop on me. As you can see, I... Just patch her up enough. Thanks. I... Not the most exciting one.
Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for... Good hunting. Ships separated. Engaging drive. Ron hopes the best thing that's happened to us. I don't want to hear any complaints. Is that you made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Keep an eye on your belt. I have never liked Hoptech ships. Though I suppose that is hardly the point of them. We'd be dust except for the factory. Enjoy your visit to Hope Tech. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. 
Now, now, McDougal. Now, I'm sure you can do better than that. You just need to apply some good old-fashioned creativity. Do you know how I built this company? By not spending a single credit that I didn't have to. I guess I could offer double shifts. It'll push payroll pretty high, but I think it's a worthwhile trade-off. As for parts, we could try outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. And um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you here. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Oh, justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecute it to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. You certainly seem to have taken a liking to this man. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Sadly, there's no lack of mercenaries in the settled systems. I suppose the chance to cut costs by stealing a ship was too good to pass up? Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable... Now you can bet my... Very well. I need... This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. If more people know about the theft, your chances of learning something useful will improve. Someone might have seen the thief and could identify them. I considered that, but in the end, I deemed it too great a risk. 
I've chosen to place my faith in the Free Star Rangers instead. A ranger's first duty is to protect the people of the Free... If your carelessness costs my workers their livelihoods, then you've utterly... F I hope you understand. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. Which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey. Can I get a word? That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. He's a little different than the rest of us. A neon's a different kind of place. Good. That should help you avoid any unnecessary complications. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Yeah, the question of... Don't you worry. You be careful in Neon. <laughs>